Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 69 of our Stexo playthrough. My name is Westman2. Feel free to call me Wes, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to stay to the end. Today's objective is crop my crop migration? Let's get started. Hello at Sheeran or at Sheepin. Um uh, Musala, Mufin, we need to make sure we feed all of you before we do any of that. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all those that were commenting and playing along last episode. Thank you for all the new subscribers and everyone that was just liking the videos and just doing that cool stuff. Uh, it was, it's been fun to mess with you guys, the ones that have been commenting and the ones that have been liking the comments and just, and just playing around. Um, we have three sheep now, and you know, Tom, Pecky, Peep, and Yoko. All of them, mostly named by, by awesome subscribers and comments. Um, we had some tips last episode, uh, actually something that I guess I've just never really paid attention to. Uh, the tip came from a awesome subscriber that said that if I go into my bed, instead of just passing out on the floor, I wake up early morning opposed to late morning. Um, and I guess I've never paid attention to that. I mean, that makes sense, and I just didn't really notice. Alright, so thank you for that. Uh, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and just... Um... Hmm... Where do we want to put the crops? Because <clears throat> we're going to have these these trees here. Uh, and so that means the crops can go central to our home, maybe? Because uh, those will be like our little farm. And then you'd still have, then you'd have your mega farm in the back with your four million acres. I'm not sure why we're going into Mozart, but hey. Alright, pickaxe. And by pickaxe, I mean ho. Ho, ho, ho. Um, Alright, I'm just going to run it based off of this fence. Is where I'm going to... No, no, silly, silly me. Do I have a net on me anymore? Did I ever have a net on me? There it is, I do have a net. Boink. Hey, I just thought of something. Alright, since everyone's been playing along, playing nicely with one another, which, good. Um, I just, you know what? Let's just keep this naming thing going. Alright. We need to name Mr. Scarecrow. In the comments down below, I'm already afraid. Go ahead and, and, what do you think we should name this Scarecrow? Um, I, ugh, I can already hear it. Um, all, all puns welcomed, anything's welcome. Again, I, I was enjoying all the names, it was just fun to give a reaction to do. Like, wow, this is weird. Anyways, uh, what should we name them? Comment down below, we'll do the whole voting thing where if we come up with at least five names, then I'll go ahead and put them on the screen next episode, episode 70, and then we'll go ahead and officially name our Scarecrow and reference that, uh, name as Scarecrow. And I, I something at the back of my head just keeps telling me, uh, and I'm sorry if you were going to use this one or maybe you're typing it in right now. Um, the first thing that came to mind was Captain Jack Scarecrow. Ha 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 ha, yeah. I got you guys. If you were typing that one in, you're just like, oh, that West kid is... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sorry if that was yours, really. Uh, that was just the first thing that came to mind. But again, I'll let YouTube and let you guys decide. My party people decide. Uh, that being said, the plan was to do it, I think it was 15 by 5, we're just going to make three of them. Uh, it's going to be a huge farm, but again, that's why we're doing it, and we have the money, and then that just means we're going to get even more money, and money, and money, money. I sound like Mr. Krabs. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright. Pretty straightforward, but that gives us uh, a group of, or it leaves a space of two. Oh, if that's the case, then I might put it... I, w I would want the space of two here. Uh, only because this is the side we're gonna... Hello, everyone! Yoko! Oh, Tom Pecky doesn't like me, but I uh, don't blame him. Um, alright. Let's go over here. Let's finish up this with, like, that. And the reason why is... Be the reason why I would want the space there is because that's where it'd be easier to access, since, again, we're already in a... Uh, be here. Like, for instance, if I just knock down this little bit of fence here, uh, but keep that fence up, what we can do is immediately we just walk out into the field and have a path leading all the way down and all the way down that way. Ah, uh, and that just makes sense to me. Again, it's just really preference at this point. Alright, so that... That... Oh, hey! Hey, we're almost at a hundred subscribers! 
can, can we all help me? Let's all let's all help Westman too and Wes and again it's really just a channel. Let's try to get to a hundred subscribers by the end of the month, right? So like go go write your grandma and, and your, all your friends and share this video and like the videos and comment because actually all that actually helps the ranking of the video as well as me posting stuff. So that would be a big help if we could could do that since we have a small following now. Let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Oops, I guess I should be using a shovel. But yeah, that that's exciting. So thank you all those that have been subscribing and watching daily. Um, if, if you guys are curious... Uh, the videos are are now averaging about 20 views a video, so it means that although I can't see every subscriber, because I think I've mentioned this before, uh, I think I have more than 90 subscribers, but if you have your subscriptions on private, you do not show up in my feed, nor do you count against my subscribers. So, it's funny watching my videos, and you're like, hmm, 20 some odd views, some of these go up to 30 pretty quick within the day, too, and you're like, alright, so that means it's at least 30 people watching, and you're like, alright, but I've only gained 20 subscribers in the past month, you're like, wait a second, it's all those hidden accounts, and it's nothing bad, it was just more so like, hey, in case you didn't know, that's what happens on YouTube, so for those who might be starting off on YouTube and be and are doing your own thing and you might get discouraged because it is really easy to get discouraged and you're like man I'm not getting any subscribers you could be but you one you don't get a notification because technically they're not there Two, it doesn't count against your number so in retrospect if you had 50 people with hidden accounts you might have a lot more subscribers than you think which makes me believe I think I'm over a hundred but since these private accounts I, I don't know but I thought I'd just give you guys an update. And since we're doing kind of, again, always mundane tasks, I figured we'd just keep keep the updates going. So thank you all those again that are commenting. And now that that part's over, let's go ahead and get right back into the game. So the objective, obviously, is just to get this going. Get the needed stone, get the needed sand to make more of these blocks if we need them. And to put a path, and then to obviously put uh, our scarecrow back. Um, and... Uh, five, wait, we wanted three of these at least. This is one, two, three, four, and five by fifteen. Gosh, that's gonna be a lot of seeds, but hey, it's gonna be worth it. Alright, so let's just get rid of, man, I have a scythe for this very thing, and I just don't use it because I get lazy and I forget that I can just auto-rotate. Alright, because these all need to come up, obviously, because this is where our, our farm's gonna go. Um, I guess I should have checked before placing these, because obviously, for instance, uh, if I decide to turn this entire plot of land back here into fields, which I would highly doubt it, because man, that would be a lot of planting, a lot of uh, sowing, and a lot of reaping. Uh, I don't think I, you know, made it right so that if I did five, so one, two, three, four, five, you get space, one, two, three, four, five, you get the idea. And I don't think I, I did this right. And so for that, we're just gonna build this way and kind of pretend like it didn't happen. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, and six, because that's what that needs to be. Uh, and then this can all stay. This channel gets dug up all the way up to here. So I'll go ahead, since we have I have this one outline, I'm gonna go ahead and just dig out the other one. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for instance, we know that this is gonna be one. Uh, so right, so one, two, three, four, five, and then one more to pass it for the border of a nice cobblestone. And then, oh, this must be stone because it's getting angry. Hey, it's stone, meaning this actually all needs to come up because we got to replace it with the grass. Oh, come on. So, <clears throat> uh, another news, there's a game that I really want, I want to try out. I think you guys would really like it. It's called Creativeverse. Remember I talked about it? Some of you might have actually checked it out and, and saw what it's about, but I want to do a video on it, and so I think I'm going to I'm gonna formally invite you to watch that video uh, when it comes out in, um, should I say tomorrow, but then I'm not sure about the schedule. Um, how about in two days? Uh, come back in two days uh, and check the channel out for a Creativeverse video. Uh, this will be more just a placement video to show you kind of what it is and and how it is and how I'd run the series all the same uh, It's neat. I did download a demo of uh, my time in Portia Par Partia? I, I'm not sure how to say it um, But I did do that so I, again, I guess I could play the demo of that and So if you want that too, just go ahead and comment that as well 
Um, I know I got one comment suggesting that as the next game. It was more so just a problem with buying it. And so that being said, I found a demo. And I'm not sure how far the demo goes because I've only played like a couple minutes of it just to get myself familiarized with the game. Like, all right, this is how I play it. Okay, so because this one is actually in the middle, um, uh, if I do three, it'd need to be four. All right, so we'll make four uh, for our scarecrow. One, two, three, four, five, and then oh, six. No, 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 it's 15, so it's seven. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there. Well, not when he's backwards. It's not going to scare anyone that way. Yeah, I guess it could. Small children. All right, so oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there. I can't see. Zoom out. There we go. Yay! Mr. Turnip Head. All right, so go ahead and... Oh, I guess this is the easier way. So obviously after this, we're going to go ahead and grab some seeds. Four million seeds. Uh, because apparently... Whoa, mouse? What What was that? That was bizarre. One sec, let me... No? no. Whoa, uh-oh. All right, come on. I'm recording. Give me like three more, five more minutes. Uh, ten more minutes. Actually, just don't do that all together. Ah, it's stone. Oh, no. It's not stone. I lied. All right. And grab this. Oh, we need dirt. Silly dirt. All right. Make sure the mouse is actually doing what it needs to be doing. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Uh, keep, keep pushing buttons to see if that will help it. Like, for instance, it's uh, the mouse I use is a Razer. It's a Razer Naga. And it's the Chroma version. So there's a like on-the-fly DPI changing. And for those that are not sure what DPI means, that means the speed of your mouse. I uh, Usually I could have, have the overlay come up, but it doesn't when I'm in, in full screen of this game. Uh, but the DPI is how fast this, the mouse is. So if you've ever gone to, like, I don't know, school or your personal PC, maybe, um, it, at normal speed, right, it feels pretty com comfortable. You know, you, you can navigate pretty well. Uh, that's usually 1,800. Um, but if you're a gamer, and some of you gamers might know this, um, having that, that type of mouse with only 1,800 DPI, uh, when you need to turn corners quickly, can be very... Uh, hard to play on because it just gets very tedious to turn around. So, for instance, uh, to put it in perspective, I think I usually run my mouse when I'm not playing in any type of competitive game, uh, 7500. And so that's, you can definitely see the difference in speed. So that's how, if you've ever wondered, like, why sometimes when, sometimes I forget and I leave it up to 10,000, and you see me whip around a corner and you're probably like, oh, what was that? That's because of the DPI. Um, is really high, so like when I play Overwatch or when I play, um, like The Division where I need actual, like, perfect movement and quick corner turning and all that stuff, that's how I do it. Man, this inventory is never gonna get clean at this rate. I try to put stuff away and then we get more. So dirt we have 11 of. We need to get sand and we need to get to bed, obviously, because our awesome subscriber let us know on that tidbit. And so I feel like they're watching because I bet they are and, and we need to... We need to be good, okay, guys? Behave. No, I'm joking. Um, we don't need to behave. It's my channel. We're all, we're all, we all who we are. All right, so let's grab some paths. Is it two per? Uh, no, it's four. All right, well, 40 is at least better than zero. Let's go ahead and put these down quickly. So there, 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 there. Uh, obviously, next episode, we'll have to worry about getting the seeds so 5 by 15 is 75 and then now it becomes 75 um times four all right so let me just one sec let me just put this down so 75 is so two of them is 14 uh it's and then it's 10 so it's 15 oh oh it's 150, so then that's just for two, and then another two is another 150. Is that 300 seeds? Oh my gosh, is that really? I'll have to check that math. One, two, three, four, five. This was just in my head. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Need to make sure that I wasn't undercutting myself. All right. 
Remember how I put all this grass and was complaining about putting all this grass? Yeah, I'm digging up all that grass. Yeah, I remember that. Good times. Ah, again, I guess I didn't know where I was going to place anything, and so it was just better that I level it out all now. Man, I need to get some lights back here. It's dark. I need to move some of the spooky trees and some of those lanterns we got from the winter festival. Um, and there's no, like, spring festival, which maybe should, there should be, like, a farmer's market. Hey, but did you guys see the update for 1.3? They're adding, like, a friend system. They're adding in gift-giving and then a bunch of other stuff, so we'll have to definitely play with that. I don't know if it said it was released, because obviously I don't have it, but I think it's just, like, a teaser. Like, hey, this is coming up in the near future. Be on the lookout, so I'll definitely be on the lookout. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to episode 69 of our Stacks of Playthrough. My name has been Westman2, and for all those that have made it to the end, thank Thank you. Uh, for the new subscribers, down below is the links to all the social medias, outlets that I post on, comment on, update on. Uh, be sure to look at those if you're ever wondering like where I am or if a video's late. That's definitely in the place. Um, I have something on the on the back burner that I'm going to keep all mysterious and secret. So be on the lookout for that. I might make a, a proper video disclosing that. Uh, but dang it. I am so sorry. I... I meant to go to sleep but ladies and gentlemen until next time keep it real